This feedback will show you how to write a proper procedure in order to score mastery. What you see in front of you is anywhere between a beginning and an acceptable level of uh, procedure. So allow me to read it out for you if you can't see it on your screen. It says, first you will fill the beakers. One beaker can have water and the other is snow. You then put each one on the hot plate. Every three minutes take a temperature. You will then write it down. Repeat for the other one. So there's many different problems with this procedure. First of all, it's not quite easy enough to read. Remember, we said a procedure should always look like a cookbook. So when you're following a recipe, they normally number each step that you have to do. You don't tell the person where to fill in on the lines either. You just say to fill the, the beakers. Is that only filled a quarter of the way or three quarters way or, half, or all the way up? We don't know by this procedure. They talk about recording every three minutes. That's not bad and that's actually a good step, but probably we need to be recording a little bit more frequently than that. It says you will then write it down. How do we write it down? Do we put it into a chart? Do we write it down on our arms? Where do we actually put it? Okay. And then it says repeat for the other one. So that's almost laziness, right? You're assuming that the person knows exactly what they want to do there. Let's now look at a procedure that would be of the mastery level. First of all, right off the bat, you can clearly see the difference is that everything has been numbered in a nice orderly way. And because we're not writing long amounts, it's easy for somebody to follow. Remember that you should write at about a grade four reading level so that anybody can pick up your lab and be able to do the actual work with it. You'll also see that I get very specific and very detailed. So for example, number one, collect all materials and apparatus. While this may seem like an obvious step, it's a good thing to tell people that they need to do that. Just like in cooking, you always want to have all of your materials before you get going. This one, second step is very specific. It says fill the first speaker to 250 milliliters with water. It tells them what material to use and it tells them how far to go. Fill the second beaker to the 250 milliliter mark with the snow. Number four, heat beaker one. Record the temperature each minute and record the results in a chart. So where this is different from the first example we looked at is they're, they're recording at a much more frequent basis, which is what you should do so that you can see changes in the data. And also they're saying to put it into a chart so that you can keep it nice and organized. Number five, continue this process for 10 minutes. So you're not leaving it up to the experimenter how long they want to do it because some people may choose to do it two times, some people may do it five times. So you're telling them at least 10 times will give them enough data that they can analyze it. Then number six, seven, eight, uh, again, repeat these steps, but again, repeat them in an order that it's easy for somebody to understand and be able to do. Uh, step number nine says, when you are done, let the hot plate cool down. This is an important safety consideration and you should never be shy about mentioning safety issues in your procedure. Wash out all your beakers and that's an important step as well because we have to care and treat for the science equipment. Finally, step 10, ensure that all your materials are away. So you can see, very easy to follow, very succinct and tells the person that, hey, you know what this experiment's about and how to do it. And that is how you do a procedure.